I think I figured it out. So you know how almost every TV series has an episode where one of the characters needs to host something like a school event or something for work and it just goes hilariously wrong? That is what has happened to Pokemon Go Fest. I mean, I, I wanted to be hopeful because this is an amazing event. Like this is tens of thousands of Pokemon fans brought together by their love of Pokemon surrounded by a Pokemon theme playing Pokemon in the real world. And the last thing I wanted was it to go wrong, but like there was a little bit of build up, the no items, like the things you couldn't bring to the event were a little unfun, and also just the way that Niantic has been handling their game over the last year, they're six months behind where they want to be in development because of all the issues that they've had, and it looks like Pokemon Go Fest. The chance to kind of reverse the tide has just kind of flown with it. So, I'm going to go and play this part from the stream, and I think it's very telling as to what's going on. Thank you to something or someone else. Please help me welcome to the stage the CEO of Niantic, Mr. John Hankey. Thanks, Rachel. I have already watched this stream, and the amount of booing that the CEO of Niantic gets still gets me. I, <laughs> it's so, oh, it's, it, it's so bad. This is, this is the, you are here to play this game. This is the guy behind the game, and you are booing him. It's that bad, and it, it just gets even worse from there. Now, I don't know if you can hear it, so I'm going to turn off my music morning, really quick. Everybody. Welcome to Chicago. And we're just going to play this for a bit. A you can tell he's rattled. You can tell he's rattled, which is a big problem right there off the bat. It's Fix our game. Fix our game is what they're chanting. And he, so he's, you can tell it's getting to him. On behalf of Niantic and the Pokemon Company to our very first inaugural Pokemon I'm hearing Go it Fest. even more. Like, I've already seen this. Like I said, I saw this live. I'm doing the VOD right now. It sounds uh, worse. Night, we were a little bit worried about the weather. We've been talking to the weather people. It looks like... You can't say anything. It looks like we got some sunshine today, so let's hear it for sunshine. But it's cloudy. Like, I've seen all the pictures from Pokemon Go, and it now, looks cloudy. There's that, like a 10% um, chance it's going to rain. Some of you guys have had trouble getting logged on this morning. And uh, I want to let you know that we're working with the cell companies, at and Sprint, Verizon, trying to get that worked out. And we're working on the game server to get that worked out. So I want to ask you guys, please know, got the whole Niantic team working against this, so please be patient with us, okay? Some positive applause, it now, sounds I've like. I've had a great time walking around the crowd this morning. I've seen so many families here together. I think that's awesome to see. We're, we're working on that. And that's where he screwed up. You could hear an audi audible, fix the game! And he responds to the hecklers. Like, there, there could have been maybe a little bit of doubt, like, oh, maybe they're chanting something else. Maybe it's not that negative. But he, it's so bad that he has to respond to it on the stage. And what makes this even worse is that the stream was delayed by two hours. And I don't know if that was main stage or anything, because I'm not at the event, obviously, because, like, this is happening live right now. But uh, it's been pretty bad. Also, like, everything was delayed. You know, setting up the stage, streaming, getting people in has been delayed. We're going to talk about that a bit. Pretty much everything's going wrong. There's so many people in such a small area, the cell service can't keep up. Um, I heard that one of the issues going on right now is that what happens is you get a QR code when you go to the events. Like, when you get your badge, when you register for the event, you get a QR code, you scan it, and then you get to participate in all of the events because spoofing is that bad. Cheating in Pokemon Go is so bad that they don't want people to just be sitting at home like me, spoofing the game, and enjoying everything for Pokemon Go. Fest also to skew all the events because what's going on right now is the uh, Pokemon like global challenge thing So the challenges are a pretty big deal here because that's kind of the whole idea with Pokemon Go Fest so You need to catch fire water grass electric rock and normal type Pokemon and then you get all these bonuses unlocked And it's only for certain event challenge periods Well the stream or this like this main stage thing actually ended after one of the challenge periods began So they were slightly delayed right there and it just gets worse and worse But if you want an idea of how bad Pokemon Go is getting I've been looking at like the Pokemon Go hashtag there's already articles from Game Informer. Pokemon Go currently unplayable for many at the fest and this is coming from someone who actually got a press badge for Pokemon Go. So press isn't even able to play at the Pokemon Go event which means they're immediately turning around being like the event is wrecked GG.
you know, they're tweeting that stuff out and like this. So Pokemon Go Fest kicked off at 10 a.m. in Chicago's Grant Park. It estimated 20,000 people. So yeah, you had to buy tickets to get in and it, the tickets sold out like super quick, but it was 20,000 tickets either way. So that's going to be a lot of people crammed into less than a square mile of space. Uh, so we have a day of festivities, egg hatching, and all that stuff. However, I arrived at the park at 9 a.m. and was able to spin just one Pokestop. So even the people that got in early are having difficult one getting in early that I've also seen some other reports that people that are saying that they were in the early access line are still not even in the event right now. Talked to a dozen of people either playing Pokemon Go or attempting to, and they're all having issues. So just people waiting in line don't even get to play the game because you just can't log in because it's crashing the servers. Perhaps Niantic is tinkering with the app in the area, which we just kind of saw John Hankey confirm. So either way, it's pretty bad. This is always a concern with augmented reality game events where thousands get together in a small place. Mobile interference is a thing. Seems like special raid, uh, Pikachu raid battles. That's pretty cool. Thousands of people, 0.8 square mile area in a mobile game causing mobile in interference. Unsure what they could have done to prevent this. And it's unplayable. Maybe just not let that many people in. Maybe have more events. Like they had one event in Chicago for Pokemon Go Fest instead of having like one event in every couple of states like you could have done two in California you could have had one in Seattle one Portland one in Miami all kinds of stuff like that even though logistics would have been a nightmare because instead of having all your team work on just one event for Chicago that's going wrong you have had to split it up and have the organization be even stranger from there but Get people that, like, know anime conventions. Get people, like, that host packs and stuff to work with your team, even if you have to pay them. You know, th it seems like Pokemon Go Fest has also been a major cash grab. The official Pokemon Go Fest store has shirts for almost $30. $30 t-shirts! Also, the Pokemon Go Plus is $40 at the event. It's supposed to retail for $35. Why are they upcharging for a Pokemon Go Plus? That doesn't make any sense. Also, cheap Pokemon toys, like this one Pokemon in a Pokeball for $8. I think that's also a little overpriced. Pop sockets for $17. Pichu snapbacks for $20. It seems like you can get everything cheaper online. And instead of, like, I'd imagine that people are paying in to get at an event, like the Pokemon Go Fest, that you'd want to give them discounts, you'd want to help them out like that. But when you overcharge for your own product, like the Pokemon Go Plus, and when you make official t-shirts that are outrageously overpriced, like, sometimes you'll see a t-shirt go up to $25, not $28, even then, like, you can get official shirts for $20 bucks or something. And no, it's $28. And it's for like a simple logo too. There's no colors or anything. That, that should probably cost $5 to make. And you know a lot of people are probably going to buy it. Because like official Pokemon Go merch is a lot less sketchy than getting unofficial. But now you can understand why so many people are like making unofficial stuff. Uh, big queues at Pokemon Go Fest as well. Even though it was with early entry or still waiting to get in. Doesn't sound brilliantly organized. That's the report coming from Pokemon Go Fest. And then Joe Merrick posting the stream got delayed yet again due to all this interference and all the issues going on. Let's face it, no one's getting a legendary Pokemon to get today. If that happens, if the big concluding legendary Pokemon is not caught because not enough people can actually participate in the event, it's going to be GG. Also, like, I understand that you're, if you're like, okay, we sold out on the tickets, that means we're going to reach all of our goals. We're going to be able to get all of the unlocks across the world. Well, what if not enough people participate to make it happen? That's going to look really bad. It should have just been like, all right, cool. It should have been an attendance cap or something like that. Hey, we maxed out attendance. Everyone gets all the rewards and stuff. I know they're trying to make it an interactive event, but that just makes it towards another point where things could go wrong. Uh, now I'm kind of glad I didn't go. Paid a large amount of money to get a flight over communication errors. I I'd be pissed and a lot of people are probably pissed as well uh, I'm here at the event they expect the end of the line should begin by 5 p.m. everyone is pissed so the end of the line you paid tickets you know it's not like this is riffraff coming off the street this isn't a line of an infinite amount of people that want to participate in Pokemon Go these are people that paid for tickets and if they showed up just slightly late I'd imagine that they'd had to have gotten in line at like 6 a.m. or even earlier to be able to get in before noon or something like that so you're waiting in line for hours for something that you paid for because the queues are just not that well organized. Uh, stream went active, and then he's even saying, you know, chance of the fix a game. They're booing John Hank. Let's, let's see what other updates we have. We're experiencing some, some technical difficulties, working to resolve them. Uh, displaying on stream isn't exactly useful. So yeah, that it's like, we have a bar. And I, I don't know, this is also what seems a little sketchy because I, I think they're still live with this. So yeah. That, that seems just a little sketchy, because they don't have the amount of Pokemon that need to be caught, they just have a graph to kind of show, hey guys, we're working on the tiers going on right now, and there's already some issues, so I'm guessing 
bronze has been unlocked across the world it's also a with the world at the event kind of thing so outside the event you're supposed to be catching pokemon from 11 30 or 11 to 11 30 1 1 to 30 p.m and then 3 to 3 30 p.m today and then if you do that then the events get extended also i find it really curious that this is going on even though the challenge window has closed I, either I don't understand so right now as I'm recording it's 1137 I just saw that normal type thing move up so either there's stream lag or I, I don't know like if there's numbers it, they could still fudge it. I think that's the problem I think that Niantic might actually be fudging the numbers I think we might actually complete this because oh half the water type Pokemon for today have been caught even though there's massive cellular interference going on and we're only at stage one of the challenge and we're almost halfway done with that. And I think it, they're going to be like building suspense. Like, are we going to get the last normal type Pokemon that needs to be caught at the last minute? Therefore, everyone gets all their crazy events and stuff. You know, I, I don't I don't know if I can trust Niantic with what's going on right here. There's this graph that's like, oh yeah, you we caught all these Pokemon for that. GG, just like that. We don't even have the we don't even have the total Pokemon so far. I guess that's gonna be like the big reveal at the end. We caught a million Pokemon at Pokemon Go Fest. Even though that would be kind of outrageous because there's only like 20,000 people there. So, I don't know. That also seems a little sketchy right there. I will I will admit that. Um, yeah, the graph they're displaying. Sorry, I was mistaken. It's not 0.8 square miles. It's half a square mile. Ooh, that's even worse. I was mistaken. It's worse than we ever expected. And I was just kind of going through the uh, Pokemon Go Fest Twitter thing. So Bum couldn't get a ticket to Pokemon Go Fest. No, you're, you're okay. Uh, I was looking at the team lounges. Team lounges are okay. Like, I was thinking about the last time I went to, like, an amusement park or a water park. And you just got, yeah, you just got a pagoda set up. You have, oh, cool, we, we have bean bags that are yellow, red, and blue. And then you just have some picnic tables. So you can have a standing bench. Mm, it's standard. Can't really fault them for that. It looks a little plain, though, for, like, some kind of big, crazy Pokemon event. And that's kind of it. Pokemon Go streams delayed yet again. People are waiting for the stage. So I'm guessing if the stream was delayed, all these people were delayed as well. And that brings up another issue. At the uh, at the Pokemon Go Fest FAQ, they said that you can't even bring any like recording devices. They don't want any professional recording equipment for some reason. But everyone has a cell phone. Everyone's going to be able to record. So why would they stop anyone bringing a good camera so they could have quality event stuff to post on YouTube? I don't really understand. And they, they were like, there's no filming, but kind of no filming. Whoa, that's a thousand results in like 30 minutes. Sucks for those who flew, paid their hard-earned cash, and can't even play the game Pokemon Go Fest. That and the very long lines to get in with the heat. I hope everyone still tries to have a good day if you are there. Ooh, that's brutal. So yeah, Pokemon Go Fest has been pretty interesting. I'm going to update throughout the rest of the day, maybe throw out a video tomorrow, kind of recapping everything. If they save it, that'll be pretty good. But right now, it's looking pretty bad, and we'll see how the reports keep coming from Pokemon Go Fest. It's kind of weird, because with 20,000 people there actively participating, you'd imagine that there'd be more tweet, more activity. But maybe people can't even get on Twitter to rant about what's going on, and that's kind of concerning. So if you guys enjoy the video, hope you all have a nice day. Thank Thank you very much for watching.